Hey everyone, Adisha here. Welcome to Learn with Adisha if you're new here. Today, we're learning about lunar eclipses and solar eclipses. They're pretty cool. Solar eclipses basically happen when the moon comes in the way of the sun. Somewhere around here to here. What? When the moon comes in this in between the sun and the earth, the moon forms a giant shadow that goes onto the, the earth and covers the sun. How does this happen though? Well, the moon is near the earth, right? Well, the sun is 400 times farther than the distance from the earth to the moon. It's 400 times that from earth to sun. And as well as that, the moon, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun. The sun is exactly 400 times bigger than the moon, which has those two effects cancel out and generate something like this. So the moon comes into view. The sky slowly gets dark and when it comes Precisely at the right moment, you can see the sun's layer called the corona. I know I'm referring to a past virus. Don't laugh at me. Don't make fun of me. Don't comment it, okay? I know that, and I survived it. The moon has its own shadow, which means it can do things like this. But after some time, it passes, and it's a normal day again. Simple, right? But then there's something called the lunar eclipse, which is when the Earth is in front of the moon and sun. Basically, in solar eclipse, it's sun, moon, Earth. But in a lunar eclipse, it's sun, Earth, moon. Sun, sun moon, Earth. Sun, Earth, Moon. The positions of the Earth and the Moon are reversed when the Moon is the only thing doing the moving. In a lunar eclipse, usually the Moon looks red. We call this a blood moon. A blood moon. Okay, blood moon. B-L-O-O-D, Moon. I just wanted to get the spelling correct so none of you would get confused. I care about you, you know. Now to learn why these shadows exist and what those and what these shadows actually are. The reason these shadows exist is because there's tons of stars, including our sun, that are generating light all over the universe. All over the universe. And this part, the really dark part, is called the umbra, while everything else in the shadow is called the penumbra. Penumbra? What's the penumbra of the moon? This or this? It's this. This is the penumbra of both the Earth and the moon. But if you want no interruptions, this is the penumbra of the Earth. And this is the penumbra of the moon. Only when the umbra comes onto something, do you see a normal solar eclipse in the daytime. But when the moon goes into the Earth's umbra, it causes a lunar eclipse, which I have seen sometimes. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.